going on everybody oh crap John Viet here back with a brand new video today's video we're going to be going over how to soft wash a house wanted to get this video out of the way before we start getting busy um all right man i've been busy today what about y'all what y'all been up to today man leave a comment down below smash that like button we're already at 641 subs man freaking growing like crazy shoot i've been working all day whipped sometimes you're just like man do i really want to make a video today but you got to get it done you know all i got to do is sit here and talk and tell you how to soft wash a house i've been soft washing houses for about a year now <clears throat> The first three years of pressure washing, I only did concrete. Man, you don't make any money on concrete. You got to know how to do uh, your house washes. Every time I do a job for a customer, I'll send them like six emails throughout the course of a year so that they come back, you know what I mean? And leave a good review and stuff like that but always get emails from your customers <clears throat> today's video we're gonna be talking about how to soft wash if you're not soft soft washing you're not making any money concrete flat work you gotta know how to soft wash houses and uh, roofs so i wanted to just kind of go over this video man these haters two people hating on me bro that's not cool don't hate on me like this video everything that i use is right here in the description i'm not let me highlight what you guys need to soft wash you need a pressure washer you need a j-rod you need a hundred foot of hose to get around the house. Um, you don't need a hose reel, but I recommend it. You need a garden hose. You need uh, tips, extra tips. I just freaking put a tip on the back of my car, and I just freaking remembered it now. Damn. That thing's long gone. So you always need tips and some. I do, you don't need boots for a house wash, but if you're doing roofs, you need a, a boots. Other than a pressure washer, man, protection is key. You definitely need masks. You definitely need gloves. Um, you don't need a downstream injector because I told y'all in my last video that every pressure washer has a downstream injector. And you need a ball valve to switch off your wands. Ooh man, today's cheat day guys, had a big old pizza, and $99, $100 for 100 signs, alright, let's get into it, we're going to watch this video, and I'm going to point out a few things, also, listen to the video of what I was saying here. Back with a brand new video. On today's video, we're going to be cleaning Ooh, this damn, house. That house was dirty as fuck. Uh, that's extremely dirty. Uh, we're going to be soft washing it. Um, <clears throat> man, that house was big, but it it was super dirty. It wasn't big. It was just super dirty. But man, if you got everything down there, the pressure washer, the J rod. Damn, we already grew one subscriber, bro. <laughs> I think I wasn't, I don't know. I'm tripping because I was just at like 500. But um, it was super dirty. So that just means you got to code it a few times. Go down below in the link in the description. I'll be uh, 
link everything that I use um, in this video, my pressure washer, my hose, uh, this cool thing right here uh, that I'll be using, uh, the J-Rod. So it has a couple different tips That's the J -Rod, my um, to shoot up high in the air. Uh, you'll see I'll be able to get all the stories. Reach up to three um, stories. I'm, I've got a ball valve, and I like this one because I can hold it like this. Um, but you'll uh, see how I soft wash this house. Check out the link in the description uh, for all the equipment. All right. A few things to point out. I got a lot of hose running. All right, I can hit that whole freaking house and not have to move my machine and not smell the gas. When you have one of those little dinky machines with only 20 foot of hose, you're in the machine's face the entire time. You're sucking in that fumes and you're gonna be miserable. Get 100 foot of hose. All right, I got my huck boots on, ready to roll. Not in my sandals like y'all got at me at. Everything I wear, polyester, all right? It will not bleach. Don't wear your black tees, bro. They will bleach. I've been through hundreds of damn shirts, and these fucking hats cost me 100 50 bucks pop. <clears throat> Got my J rod. So at the pressure washer, you've got a five gallon bucket, some uh, plastic, god damn it, some rubber tubing. That's a downstream injector straight to the machine. Right after, here's the pump. Right here, it sucks the water when you have your J rod on. Uh, it sucks the bleach when you have your J-Rod on. Fill, go to Pinch a Penny or wherever your local pool store and pick up 10 gallons of bleach for 10 bucks like I do, okay? And fill that sucker up all the way, pour you a little eliminator, and you're ready to roll. You need sticky, sticky icky to stick on the house you can't just spray straight bleach all right <sighs> got your bucket you got your hose your little uh rubber you got your downstream injector you got your bucket you got your bleach now you got your hose and you've got your gun all right a lot of people use the little gun I don't like that because it, it's got a lot of kick to it. It'll knock you right in the face, man. That thing's got a lot of kick, all right? And I like my big wand. I don't like bleach bouncing back on my face. So that's what it, that's what it is. All right? I'm calling. Maybe I'm selfish. I want you to myself. I can't help it. I'm just spraying straight up surfactant bleach pulled straight from the power washer through my J-Rod. That vinyl up there, bro, one coat, you can already see it melting away. Um, vinyl's great. So what I wanted to say is, man, look at that bottom, dude. That bottom was black. Ugh. And he was saying it was. it's only been like a year, which I doubt it, man. Dude, that's probably been a couple years. But... Hit one side of the house, let it sit for a good 15-20 minutes. Keep working your rate. Spray all the bleach, all the surfactant on, and it'll it'll stay unless it's like super freaking sunny out. Uh, then you're going to have to just 
do one side at a time but just shoot knock that whole house out hit the whole house with the hundred foot of hose and then come back to where you started or have two guys with two machines um, you know what I mean you start here your buddy's coming right behind you and just washing everything off that's how you make some money right there you can do this house in like no time so we're still just spraying bleach If you're still watching, hit the hit the like button. Leave a comment down below with any questions. <clears throat> Those spots, I don't know if you guys can see these little spots right here. If you've ever done concrete and seen those little like mold spots that are hard to come up, that's, that's kind of what it was. Yeah, family in high places like Jesus, niece. Can I please say my peace? If y'all fresh to death, then I'm deceased. And this one here <clears throat> is a heat rock. Spit like a beatbox, the way the beat rocks. New version of beat rock. But for that man, I get CL love. You so can I already tell how like all that's love. already basically clean. Maybe I'm selfish. I'll talk to you to myself. I can't help it. All that shit at the bottom was just so cake. Spray the windows too. Always spray the windows. Spray the whole house. sit for a little bit um i did hit 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 it with uh, two coats and um the best thing to do is just kind of let it chill out for about 10 to 15 minutes uh work on another side of the house <clears throat> you know do the do the right side and then hit the back but uh so far so good this house has uh some weird angles that um are kind of throwing me off but uh so far Drop my fucking uh, We're marks. doing pretty good on the house. Uh, we're about 30 minutes in and we're almost completely done with the house. Man, so, I need some uh, good lighting for my videos, guys. <clears throat> uh, this was only the back, but this was definitely the worst. So, uh, let that chill out for a second and I'll be back and rinse it all off. Look at that! I really miss this. I use InShot on my phone for anybody who's wondering. If y'all are uploading YouTube videos, I use InShot. Shit, that looks good as new to me. <clears throat> Before I end this, I just let me talk about one thing. All right, follow my mouse real quick. So always get underneath here. Spray the whole freaking house, the windows, everything. Look how dang good that looks, man. Spray under here, every single thing, okay? Down here, 
that crap was not coming off. You have to either hit it with a hotter mix, get your pump sprayer, spray it, or put your green tip on there. If it's not ripping up all the paint, you're good. But sometimes you just can't help it. <clears throat> Does the customer want the black and green off? Or um, do they want it to look like that? You know what I'm saying? So sometimes um, you just got to do what you got to do. And uh, But I would definitely... I would definitely, before you start doing any damage, hit it with some hot SH. Hot means no water. Straight up bleach. The last thing I wanted to point out is this piece of crap up here. This little line right here. The customer was cool. As long as you're cool and transparent about everything and say, hey... Please walk around the house. I wasn't able to fully get this up. Dude, this, this stuff right here, holy waste of time. I'm not, I'm not going to spend my whole day trying to get it up and not, you know what I mean? So you do your best you can. You let the customer know if it's not 100% clean and you move on. But... I think it looks good, man. Obviously, um, this was a very, 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 this is like easy, medium, intermediate, extra hard. This was probably an extra hard house. All right. Just because the stains were so black and on there, man. Now, if the top wasn't there and the bottom wasn't there and it was just vinyl and just a little bit of stucco. It would have been no problem, but since these were hard stains, you can't help it. All right. Um, you've got your pressure washer. You've got your five-gallon bucket. Um, surfactant bleach. All the instructions are on the bleach and the surfactant on your mix ratios. Uh, you got your hose, you got your J-Rod, and you're ready to roll. Go make that money. Go make that money. If you haven't even started yet, hit the links in the description and get you some stuff, brother. Go ahead and buy it. Stop waiting. <laughs>